Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario we're going to be taking a look at the rows function which will tell you how many rows of data you have in an array of data. And this is very effective when used in conjunction with a table. So you'll see I'll have some, sa I have some sample data here that I've formatted as a table. Uh, one of the clues that I've got a table is that when I click inside my data set the table design tab appears in my ribbon so that's how we know that this is an actual Excel table uh, that has all the different attributes of a table like I can uncheck and check features like banded rows or emphasizing the first column uh, things like that so or the, or the last column so uh, <clears throat> it is a table and one of the nice things about a table is that you can quickly format it you also can um, uh, use the filter feature as part of the table automatically that's built into the table but in this example we're talking about the rows function so I'd like to know how many entries there are in my table I'm gonna go to uh, cell G1 and write the following formula equals rows open paren now a table actually has a name I'm gonna escape out of that so I can show that to you first when I go to the table design tab you'll see that I've named my table sales reps so when you create a table, when you uh, select a range of data and on your home tab you choose the format as table option, then one of the things you'll be able to do is assign a name to it. Now, by default, if I hadn't named it, this would have been called table 1. Uh, if it was the second table in my spreadsheet, it would be called table 2. But I simply went to this uh, field here labeled table name and I've called it sales reps. All right, so now back to the issue at hand. I'll go to cell G1 and do equals rows, open paren, and the rows function only has one input to make it work, and that is the array of data that you want to count the number of rows for. And I can simply say uh, sales reps, and you can see as I start typing that, the name of my table appears in the dropdown. So when I enter that into my formula, close parentheses and hit enter there are five sales reps in the list and again what's kind of nice is with a table if I were to start adding some data in row 7 that automatically extends the definition of the table it grows along with the presence of more data and so um, let's say for the next sales rep we'll say uh, his name is David so as soon as I hit that then the table expands and we can see the staff count has gone up to six um, and so if, if I had been using though say a count function against column B C or D to count the number of entries uh, we'd still be at five because I haven't entered any values for David just yet uh, but that's the nice thing about the rows function it's not counting against a specific column it's counting how many entries there are in the table as a whole and it ignores the header row which is nice that you don't have to account for that so even though there's a total of seven rows here for the whole table the top row is considered a header row so it's actually only six data rows and that's what I'm getting here so I have six entries in my table that's the rows function I hope you find it useful please tune in again soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr have a productive day